there's a saying to leave the campsite better than you found it. We want to build the building of the future. Uh, we want to build buildings that are going to be cutting edge. We don't just have to reduce the amount of energy that we're using. We actually have to start going negative. We need to actually start taking that carbon out of the atmosphere. This is doable, it's sustainable, and it's replicable. 2050 Grand Concourse, located in the Bronx, we broke ground last year, October. It was important for us to be a part of designing a building that will bring back the Bronx. The Bronx is booming. It's a no-brainer. This is the way the industry is going. There's so many people going to sleep without proper heat. And this is a way that you can give people thermal comfort and filtered air. This is a 96 unit apartment community, family project with one, two, and three bedroom apartments. One of the benefits is to get off the use of fossil fuels and is taking the first step to uh, building electrification that will really be able to work off the technologies of the future. Sendera Verde is a three building, 800,000 square foot, 100% affordable housing project in East Harlem. It has a really robust community facility. Linden 2 is out in Lindenwood, Brooklyn. It is an eight story, 160 unit, multifamily building, 100% affordable housing. The challenges are very typical of any other type of project, but if you have the right team, you're able to overcome them. In designing a green building, sometimes the upfront cost is more. Contractors present items that are cost effective. We had to make a decision to push back and stay true to our design. One of the challenges going into this is we're going to have to find contractors who are willing to be trained to build this uh, kind of construction. I think it's great for to see us finally embracing new technology for the better. I hope that builders, developers actually start thinking diversity and inclusion, and that's all part of our responsibility in this industry. What I really hope is that we can move high performance building from something that's like only achievable for a very small percentage of people and really move that and make it part of the mainstream. Housing is a basic human right. We're looking towards more vibrant, even stronger, even healthier and more equitable neighborhoods and communities. And I'm thrilled to be a part of it. I feel very connected to something greater than myself. You know, we have a statewide climate initiative that's trying to really solve a big problem that the world is facing. The Buildings of Excellence Award is great because it's incentivizing other architects to really be pushing the envelope forward. I'm really excited to see what happens in the next 30 years. <laughs>